Hi guys, I'm back and um, I'm gonna do a pour with some really really bright colors. Um, I know that uh, a lot of people say you know you do a lot of blues and greens and that's true because those are my favorite colors but this time I'm gonna do something really bright. Oh there's a dog. Ooh, I think I'll have to close the window. So first off thank you sponsor of August. This is the first uh, one, two, three, four, five for August. I want to thank you for doing that so fast. Somewhere came even um, before uh, July was over, but so I want to thank you. And there we go. Next, first, let me close the window. too much noise so uh, I'd like to show you some of the dried pieces because that's what I usually do so this one I'm sure you can remember that I did that I didn't like it and I put this on top of it and now it's uh, dry you can see the silicone on top but I think once we um, once we clean it and varnish it it'll look really cute nice bright colors then we did this one remember the big one with all the uh, the ribbons on top first we poured we forgot the silicone silly me then uh, I put these big ribbons on there and then the little ones on top and look how beautiful that is let's see can you get it in focus there you go it is pretty. I really like it. All the pinks and that. Just the touch of green really brings it out. And I, I really like this painting. So I'll be uh, varnishing that one in a couple of weeks. Then I was going to do fishy. This is fishy. I was going to do that today. But I will, um, I'm going to cut out the first bit where I put this on top. Then I'm going to video me taking this off and then I'm going to video, um, uh, I'm going to do a glaze over it with um, um, primary elements, maybe some transparent paints, I don't know yet, but I'm going to do that in uh, pieces and then put the video together. That way you guys will get a, a good uh, picture of how I um, did it. And I'm not even sure if it's going to work because I used a heavy gel to transfer the print on and I haven't taken this off yet who knows if I'll even get it off <laughs> I don't know I've never done this before so it's um it's gonna be fun I do like the way that shines though that 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 gel that is pretty but we'll see uh, there and I have another one which I'm gonna do remember this one the tree like uh, thing I was thinking maybe I can um, print out little leaves or little uh, leaves and transfer them on there and then do the glaze on top. That would look really cool. You know, just the outlines of leaves with the, with the little veins in them. That would look really cool. So I'm going to search for those this afternoon. And then, of course, I want to show you the big one. First, I want to show you the record. It's all dry. We're going to finish this one off this week too. I'm going to put the clockwork in. And wow, I can see all the metallics shining. It's beautiful. I'm not sure if you can pick it up. But it's really, um, the dark blue is um, where I put in some of the metallics and it's popping right up. I kind of like that. Then I have this one. And I, I really like how, how it turned out. The only thing I'm going to do is touch up here along the line here where it's pretty thin and you can almost see the canvas. I'm going to be touching this up and then when it's totally dry I'll varnish it. But it has some awesome, awesome cells. Look at those cells. And look at the primary elements. This one's going to be beautiful. So we're going to do that one too. 
Got a lot to do. Now, I am getting something. Because um, I like the way sometimes a little shimmer comes through. I really like that. I am a little bit of a sucker for everything that's sparkly. So this is a, um, a special mica. Uh, they call it sparkling silver. As you can see, it sparkles a lot. And uh, the pour I'm going to be doing today is these colors. Yes, yes, yes. Look at those colors. They are beautiful, aren't they? Oh, and I almost forgot I was going to... Oh, I'm going to do a shout out for someone. Oh, guys, I've I've come across a channel. Someone, um, one of my viewers uh, mailed me, said, you know, you got to look at this uh, guy's channel because he's just starting and he's doing um, acrylic pouring and he's learned from uh, Rick Chattel and Danny Clark and from you. And he's just starting this channel, but he is so much fun to watch and listen to. And I went over there, and I'm telling you, I really had to laugh. He is so funny. And while he's t talking about all kinds of stuff, he's chatting it up and doing the pour, and he's doing some beautiful pours. And now you're, you're thinking, Anne-Marie, shut up and tell us who that is. So I want to do that, but I have to show you um the link because i can't you can't find him on his only with his name i think it's because he just started um let no you know what i'll do i'll put the link to his channel on under the video then all you have to do is go look under the video click on the link and you'll go straight to his channel and please people please 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 go over there subscribe if um, I'm going to follow this because he only has like, uh, I don't know, last time I looked, 55 uh, subscribers. But he is so worth it. He is really worth it. So it will make me so happy if everyone <laughs> went over and subscribed. That would be a lot of fun. Um, this The silvery stuff, I'm going to put it in. I have to see which one is transparent. So what I use, this is titanium white, so that won't be transparent. That's always opaque. I have this one, semi-transparent. It's um, the pyro orange. Then I have, oh, this one's transparent. This is the transparent orange. And then I have a, oh, see, that's opaque. So that is a pyro red. Okay, then I'll put it in the, like I said, in the transparent one. And that is the yellow. Now let's get that in there. And I gotta watch out because Danny said don't go stirring like you're stirring eggs. So, so I better not do that. Uh, I know what he means, but when I get, you know, when I get the camera rolling, I, I sort of feel a little, um, you know, a, I, that I have to do things quick because I don't want to bore you guys to death. I know I'm not, uh, you know, you you say, you, uh, you leave behind such sweet comments. Really, you do. Uh, can I see it sparkling yet? Let's see. Man, nah, not too much. So we'll put in a little bit more. See, just a little tip on the uh, on the stick, just a little bit. You can see that though, you can pick that up. I wish it would show um, a little bit more of the sparkles because in that last piece I showed you guys, uh, those, um, those elements are coming up beautifully. So let's see if it sparkles now. Yeah, a little bit. But I'm guessing that when it dries, because it's a transparent color, that something will happen. Just a tiny little bit more. And then we're going to pour. There we go. I don't know where I have my little iPad. Because then I could show you his channel. I have no clue where that thing is. 
Oh well. Just remember, I'm putting the link under this video and you can click on it and you'll go straight to his channel. Okay, we're ready. Putting this aside. Oh, for the people in Europe, I, I've got so much uh, new stuff for my shop. <coughs> First off, I got um, syringes and um, little, really cute little bottles to put the silicone in. So I'm going to be putting that up this afternoon. <coughs> okay, we're ready. Let's start with the uh, opaque. Um, what's in the mix? That's important too. So this is Vallejo Fluid Acrylics. Then we have put in the Floetrol, which contains, um, this time I put 10 drops in, in 8 ounces of Floetrol. And uh, uh, what I also added, and I think I'm going to be doing this, Because of the, uh, I'm not sure if Floetrol has binders. I got a, I got a write to the company, ask about that. And if it doesn't have binders, <coughs> you have to put some uh, extra in. I got to drink some. So this has binders. So I put a little bit of this satin fluid medium in there. You can buy this in satin, in matte, and in glossy. Next time I'm going to use the Glossy, but I'm all out, so um, there's a new order on the way from Vallejo, and I'm going to use the Glossy, and maybe, you know, you won't even have the need to seal the painting. Because sealing the painting, if you do an acrylic uh, painting, it's, you don't need to seal it. It just, you know, when you, when you varnish, it just makes it, you know, glossy if you like it. But it doesn't really need it. They told me that in the art store where I buy my paint. So I'm uh, pretty confident they know what they're talking about. Okay, gonna start with a little bit of white. And then the sparkly yellow. Not too much though. Then that beautiful, vibrant orange. And then that beautiful red. I hope it's gonna come out like some sort of a sun beautiful sun or something like that and if I have enough I'll make some yupos and I might be putting packages together with my yupos and then uh, because a lot of people have been asking me about the yupo but just sending one you can't do that it's not you know I can't send one it'll be so freaky expensive Everything that has a track and trace, it starts at 17 euros, so, you know, I just can't do that. That's too expensive. Okay, I'm going to do a flip cup, and I'm going to show you straight away. Ooh, that is very strange. And I'm going to really torch it straight away, too. That's pretty. And now to really get those cells a popping a little bit bigger. Look at that. Is that pretty? That is really pretty. Letting it come down here. Oops. And down there. The only thing I don't like is when they, um, when the cells go, um, you know, they go, they stretch. Let's see if I can clean my hands here. But I like it. I like the colors and I like um, what happened. Only I'm going to do something else. Because I do want some different, um, different things to look at. Just a little bit more of that sparkle stuff. Now I can see it sparkle though. So and it's going to be coming out because all everything you see that is yellow is going to be sparkly. And some of that beautiful orange. 
and no red because I am going to be putting one band down here, but a thick one, like that. Oops. And letting it come down. And as you can see, I'm holding uh, the torch up very, very high because I've, I've Torch this, and you can see the plastic didn't didn't get a hole in it. So that's about, you know, that's really not hot at all. And that's what I really want to stress, everyone. You know, don't burn your paint. Just make it a little bit warm. That's all all it needs. Oh, I I like this. But you know what I'd like even more? Oh, you can't do that with a plastic cup. What I'd like even more if it had just one more. Just a little going over there. Yeah, that's it. Ooh, I really like this. That's it. Gotta fill in here a little bit of the hole, a little bit down here. Don't want the corners exposed. Okay, this is it. I like it, and I think I will just brush over it for the air bubbles. If there are any, I see very few, not many. That's it. Now I'm going to take you guys down and show you. What happened? If I'm dead in focus, that is. Oh, there it is. I love it. I like the colors. They are so intense. Look at that. Oh, yeah. You can see the sparkle right now. Can you see it? Let me get out of the... Uh, Oh, you saw it. You could just see it. It's sparkling like crazy. See that? In the yellow? That'll look so good once it's dry. I'm sure that's going to sparkle. Let me have to take another look. Oh, yeah. I see the sparkles. Ooh, pretty. I love it. So, so far so good. Then for some Yupo action, I'm going to cut up a half A4. Oh yeah, the Yupo I use, I buy it in Holland and I don't think they, um, they sell overseas because I heard someone say they don't. Um, for the people in Europe, if, if you want the Yupo, I think I could buy it and put it in my shop. I don't need to, um, you know, um, I don't, I don't need to have money for it. You know, if you, if you do an order, I could just put it in there. That'd be no problem at all. So let me know if people in Europe want to buy the Yupo, then I'll buy some more, put it in the shop. And with your next order, you can just order it with it. So as you can see, it's pretty, the card is pretty, you know, it's 235 grams or 300 microns. That's what the Yupo is. Putting it on top, pulling it off. That didn't go so well. <laughs> Let's put some more paint on there. Yeah, now, it, now it's a... Ooh, that's pretty color, though. Okay, let's put some of the yellow what's left over because I find it pretty. And I bet most of the sparkle will be on the bottom, so... 
Let's put some more on there. That's it. I think I'll keep this one though. Just put another one on there. This one is kind of pretty. This needs a little bit. That's it. Yeah, I kind of like this one. It does have cells, but not, you know, really visible. Well, here it is. Okay, we're going to keep this one. Put that aside. And then I need another one, but my hands are dirty, so... Let's see. Here it is. Getting another half. Putting it on top. Mm, this one, I guess. Let's see if it sells up. Nah, I don't like this one. <clears throat> it's not what I was looking for. See, the more that you play with the, the drip off, the more that it you know, it just becomes one color. So I'm looking for something interesting though. Nah, don't like it. Seeing if I like this. Nothing interesting. So I'll just, um, that's a good thing about Yupo. It is a little bit on the expensive side. But after doing this and um, you don't like it, you just put it under the tap, I'll show you. Now if I can find my leg, oh there it is. See, if you don't like it, all you do is you just wash it off and then you can use it again. No problem. Didn't wash the back, but you can uh, wash it and use it again. So there's no waste with Yupo. I will put this away for later use and I'll clean this one off too. Uh, right now, this is about it for today, guys. I'm going to be working on Fishy. And then I'll stick all those videos together and I'll upload them in at once. That's easier for you to watch. Remember, don't forget, look under the video for the, for the link to the new channel I was talking about. You will just love it. Okay? See you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.